This show is brought to you by the Genesis Communications Network, a world leader in talk radio since 1998. Visit GCNlive.com today. The stocks discussed on Wall Street Raw are not in any way a recommendation or solicitation to buy, sell, or hold. If considering on acting on information, we first recommend you seek out a competent, licensed professional for advice. What kingdom has sent you? The kingdom of the Most High. Nothing you have ever experienced can prepare you for the unbridled carnage you're about to witness. The Super Bowl, the World Series, they don't know what pressure is. In this building, it's either kill or be killed. They make no friends in the pits and you take no prisoners. One minute, you're up half a million in soybeans and the next, boom, your kids don't go to college and they've repossessed your Bentley. Are you with me? Genesis Communication Network is proud to bring you Wall Street Raw with nationally recognized market timer and previous Wall Street Week elf, Mark Leibovitz, welcoming you on board his financial time machine. And here is the elf himself, Mark Leibovitz. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. It's uh, Saturday, March 12th. Glad you're here. Obviously, you have a lot of choices on a Saturday morning, so welcome to Wall Street Raw. We had a break for a couple of weeks. As you know, uh, if you've been following the show, I was attending uh, a couple of conventions. Hopefully, some of you uh, had a chance to attend it. I did meet a couple of listeners, so I know at least a couple showed up. We were at the Traders Expo in New York at the Marriott Marquis, and then uh, a week later down at the Orlando Money Show. Um, a lot of interesting guests. Uh, we always enjoy doing those shows, meeting a lot of new people and meeting a lot of traders and investors, particularly in the in New York and Orlando area where there's a pretty good uh, turnout. Meanwhile, uh, lots happened uh, in the market since we were back live on the air. Uh, we've seen continued advance off the lows from uh, February. So a lot to talk about there, and we'll discuss that as well. But still, I'm of the view still currently of the view that uh, we're experiencing a uh, bear bounce, and uh, they call it a dead cat bounce, and not necessarily the beginning of a new bull market, though some stocks have done well, and we have traded a few of them. There's been some action in the uh, commodity area. Gold had been improving. Crude oil, as you know, has been rallying. Uh, looked like a, a bottom there in both. I had mentioned that in previous uh, broadcasts. So nothing uh, new uh, there. A little bit of a rally going on. Stocks seem to be doing well. But, you know, keep in mind that we have market rigging worldwide underway, and a lot of that was evidenced uh, during my uh, absence here. We've got uh, Japan into negative interest rates, Europe uh, negative interest rates, Mario Draghi getting more aggressive this past week. you got the Fed meeting this coming week, midweek. There might be some action coming out of Japan. So there's pressure to push equities higher, keep currencies low as the currency war continues on. So with this rigging, you know, warning signs out there, but it doesn't mean they can't push stocks higher. And uh, if they continue to get even more aggressive, I could be wrong and they'll take stocks to new highs despite all the ongoing negatives and the fact that we do have that negative interest rate scenario. What's happening then with negative interest rates? Well, it forces you to pay a fee to keep your money in the bank. It all also moves money into equities as people need a place for their money, but it also helps the bond market, too. So uh, I would not get bearish on bonds as long as governments are pushing rates down as they are doing. As a reminder, um, if you want more information about my newsletters, you go to vrtrader.com. That's vrvictorrobertrader.com or wallstreetraw.com. You'll get to my uh, list of products. We have a platinum newsletter, which is our daily report, including specific uh, ideas and recommendations. Our silver newsletter, which is general market commentary. We have our gold letter, which covers natural resources. We have our annual forecast model. We call it the VR Forecaster Report. 
It's our annual cyclical report for the major markets. Uh, we have our book, of course, the Trader's Book of Volume out there, and my uh, sort of fun and exciting letter, the Vice Letter, which covers gaming, alcohol, tobacco, and the new exciting cannabis group, which you may not all agree with, but that's a reality out there. There's about 200 publicly traded marijuana cannabis stocks, and this is going to be a growing area nationally, uh, particularly in the medical marijuana area. So we have a letter that we focus on a few names there as well. So I want to bring that to your attention if you haven't done so already. Um, also, you can go to WallStreetRawHealth.com, WallStreetRawHealth.com. You can learn about uh, some of uh, Dr. Joel Wallach's products, which I use personally and, uh, you know, I think are all beneficial to us. I mean, I'm a bit into the health thing. I'm a big, uh, I guess, uh, customer of the Whole Foods environment and been that way for many years. And, you know, health is important, uh, more important than uh, making money, as we all know. So you got to take care of yourself. Organic foods are great, but... Um, Got to get all that nutrition, so Dr. Wallach offers that. So WallStreetRawHealth.com is a place to go for more information there. So, you know, looking at what's uh, going on this week, uh, you know, you know, Saudi Arabia is sinking a bank loan between six billion and eight billion, which which could be the first significant foreign borrowing by that the government in over a decade. Uh, it's really interesting. They asked the lenders to submit proposals to extend its five-year U.S. dollar loan of that size with an option to increase it. Uh, North Korea claims to have miniaturized uh, nuclear warheads to fit its ballistic missiles. Uh, that's not uh, great news. Iran has threatened to walk away from the uh, nuclear agreement to reach last year. Um, China's February trade performance is far worse than economists had expected. Uh, days uh, after the top leaders of the National People's Congress sought to reassure investors, so exports fell 25% from a year earlier. Uh, as I mentioned a moment ago, with regard to Japan, their 10-year yield extended its push into negative territory, dropping to an all-time low of a minus 0.12%. And... Um, Fed officials, uh, you know, face a complex and possibly divisive debate of whether the recent evidence of rising prices, particularly with regard to some of the improving commodity prices we saw this past week in crude oil, for example, is enough to move ahead with planned rate hikes. Rate hikes. They've been talking about this. We had a little bit of a hike a few months ago, and here we go again with the March meeting coming up this week. Um, we can't predict whether she's going to do, Janet Yellen's going to do anything or not. I think it's foolish. I think you got the world in recession, uh, negative rates everywhere, but the U.S. Uh, wants to uh, raise rates. And, again, this gets back to the basic uh, comment. We emphasize this in our letter that uh, the economic reports, the employment reports, all the statistics you hear and read about, you just can't trust them. They are manipulated. They are distorted. Unemployment in particular is probably three times what is officially uh, reported. So, so uh, the pressure is political and Wall Street on the Fed to uh, raise rates. Why? Because the banks work on a better spread when uh, that occurs. Also, uh, you know, the you know the big big uh, story, of course, is uh, what's going on with the in the political environment out there. I am a Trump supporter. I think you get a sense of that if you uh, read uh, my newsletters. But I'm happy if uh, Cruz gets in because any dramatic change is needed in uh, Washington. But the big issue again, this is getting to a little bit more political than probably you're comfortable with on a financial show, but we really need a cleansing in Washington. It's just not the elected officials. You have the secret government. You've got the the, the, the uh, uh, lifetime employees. Uh, the people have been there for years and years, the lobbyists. It's, it's not just who's elected president or who's elected to Congress. Uh, you know, we can clean them all out, but you still have a lot of bad apples out there. And this is the big problem, you know, a real big change. And whether that's going to occur under any administration is really, you know, really the key. And uh, you have a lot of civil unrest going on now. Look what happened in Chicago uh, Friday evening with demonstrators trying to break up the uh, the Trump uh, rally. This is very dangerous, and you have gun stocks that have been rallying like Smith & Wesson and Sturm Ruger for the last couple of years. So if there's any uh, big surprises on the political side or people get upset, there could be serious civil unrest in the country coming up. And this is what worries me, too, not just what's happening in the financial sphere. So a lot of things are going on out there. So the bottom line for me is I think the Dow and the S&P will, in the months ahead, break lows that we've seen or at least retest lows. Meanwhile, we have uh, my good friend uh, Sinclair Nell coming up here on segment two, so stay tuned.
You're listening to Wall Street Raw with Mark Leibovitz. Go to WallStreetRawRadio.com for information on Mark's newsletters and products. Stay tuned. Mark will be right back. No other network provides the level of customer service we do. When it comes to radio advertising, we are your one-stop shop. And no matter how big or small your business is, we can help. Email us at advertise at GCNlive.com. And an experienced advertising executive will help you take the first step towards driving more customers to your business or website. Advertise at GCNlive.com. Easy, affordable, effective. Sciatica, lower back pain, hip pain, poor posture. If you suffer from any of these problems, get ready to relax. Introducing an amazing product that's been in the market for over 25 years, the Sacro Wedgie. It was invented by a football coach using a common sense osteopath technique. He created this device to help his athletes by isolating and supporting the sacrum, which is the keystone of our anatomy. This wedge-shaped bone is in the center of our hips, where a lot of pain starts. Simply relax 20 minutes daily on the amazingly simple Sacro Wedgie and let Gravity do the work, helping muscles rebalance and start releasing nerves. Sit in the sacral wedgie at the computer or while traveling to help correct posture to finally help relieve those stubborn aches and pains for only $33.95. It's made in the USA, so click the family-owned website at sacrowedgie.com, spelled S-A-C-R-O-W-E-D-G-Y.com, or call 1-800-737-9295. That's 1-800-737-9295. Relax your back pain away with the sacral wedgie. Paid non-attorney spokesperson, Adam Pulaski of the Pulaski Law Firm with Principal Office in Houston, Texas, is the attorney responsible for the content of this ad. This ad is not legal advice, and the choice of a lawyer should not be based solely upon advertisement. Services may not be available in all states. Attention Zarelto users. If you or a loved one took Zarelto and suffered a serious bleeding event, you may be entitled to financial compensation. Zarelto is a popular prescription blood thinner used to prevent blood clots and protect patients from strokes. These serious bleeding events have led to numerous cases of hospitalization and even death. Phone lines are open 24-7. Call 800-261-0937. That's 800-261-0937. We use mobile devices right against our bodies every day. But growing scientific evidence has emerged showing serious health risks associated with exposure to EMF radiation emitted from these devices. The solution is Defender Shield, the most effective mobile radiation shielding ever developed. Defender Shield blocks virtually 100% of EMF radiation from cell phones, tablets, and laptops and starts at just $64.99. Buy now at DefenderShield.com. For 10% off, use promo code GCN. DefenderShield.com, the worldwide leader in mobile radiation shielding. What would your life be like if you woke up each morning with new vitality, feeling better than you have in years, and you noticed a difference in your sleeping patterns, blood sugar levels, and had a sense of well-being overall? There's something that is changing thousands of people's lives, and you could be one of them. It's called Heart and Body Extract. Sharon Harris, co-creator of Heart and Body Extract, talks about the positive effects of Heart and Body Extract. What happens with the formula Heart and Body Extract is it's giving the body the necessary vitamins, minerals, amino acids, enzymes, and phytonutrients so, so the body will heal itself. And yes, the body does have the ability to balance blood pressure, balance cholesterol, clean and unclog the arteries. It can also work on uh, balancing the circulation for diabetics. So the body is an amazing thing. It simply needs some help so it has the tools to heal itself. Heart and Body Extract gets results. To order your two-month supply, call now, toll-free at 866-295-5305. Order online at hbextract.com. Hunters, anglers, campers, and survivalists. Get back to nature. Expand your horizons with the highest quality, most versatile, unique slingshots and sling bows on the market at slingbow.com. Slingbow products are compact and models start from just $17.98. They're perfect for your bug out bag or storing in your vehicle. Give yourself and your loved ones the excitement and tradition of Slingbow. A new frontier in archery and truly modern twist on this primitive survival tool. Feel the thrill only at slingbow.com. Think big. Think positive. Never show any sign of weakness. Always go for the throat. Buy low, sell high. Fear, that's the other guy's problem. Welcome back to the Wall Street Raw Radio Show with Mark Leibovitz, your time machine for the financial markets. Want to know more? Go to WallStreetRawRadio.com. 
Now, here's the elf himself, Mark Leibovitz. back my good friend Sinclair No from KFNN 1510 Phoenix and author of the blog eatthebankers.com. Sinclair, uh, thanks again for joining us on this Saturday morning on Wall Street Raw. Uh, thank you, Mark. Always a pleasure. Well, you know, uh, market rigging is again hitting uh, new uh, record uh, peaks, and we had uh, the European Central Bank and uh, Mario Draghi expand their asset buying program uh, this week. And uh, initially the market was, you know, a little nervous about it, but it took off, and it's still rallying. And uh, I guess as long as they're priming the pump, uh, people feel stocks uh, can go higher. And then we've got uh, the uh, Fed meeting next week, and from what I understand, Japan is going to be doing something. So all guns are blazing here, Sinclair. But central banks want the markets up, I guess, huh? Well, uh, Draghi fired his bazooka. No <laughs> surprise there. And boy, it was loaded. Uh, in addition to increasing the existing asset purchases from 60 billion euros to 80 billion euros per month, I mean that's that's 20 billion extra euros a month. And then they tack on about 6 billion euros to buy corporate debt. Now, this is going to get real interesting. They've been buying uh, sovereign debt. Now they're going to add on corporate debt to this. And, of course, they cut interest rates in several different areas. They're into negative territory on a couple of these uh, of these rates that they're looking at. And it, so far, negative interest rates just haven't been working. But you have to wonder, I mean, they're buying almost $90 billion worth of uh, government and corporate debt per month. That's well over a trillion dollars per year that they're going to be spending on this program. That starts to add up to real money after a while. Yeah, it sure does. And uh, But the result has been uh, higher equity prices here in the U.S., you know, uh, you know how I feel about it. They're all on the phone talking to each other, and if Janet doesn't do it, Draghi does it, or if Draghi doesn't do it, Japan does it. Sure, and, and you know Wall Street and the the equity markets just love free money, and it is pouring down from the helicopters now. So yeah, we're seeing a little bit of a little bit of a pop in the markets. Not a big surprise. Of course, next week I think this means that the, the Federal Reserve really can't be raising interest rates uh, when they meet next uh, Tuesday and Wednesday. But we're going to be watching to see what they say about telegraphing for the future. Uh, general idea is that most, uh, most market watchers are looking for a rate hike in June. That's still a long way away. But right now it sets up a stronger dollar. And this is kind of a strange thing as well. Typically we would think of a stronger dollar and lower commodity prices. So what we saw uh, on Friday was the IEA, International Energy Agency, comes out and says, hey, energy prices, they're going to go up. Supply-demand story. Well, supply-demand is one small part of the story, and we're still seeing an oil glut, and we're likely to see a much stronger dollar. And remember, oil is purchased in dollars. So a stronger dollar means lower prices for oil. They're trying to prop up the energy markets at the same time. I know the tie-in between stocks and uh, crude oil has been, um, you know, a little uncertain. We get some days where they move together and some days they don't, but I think the consensus is if we can get energy moving up, considering all the employment and jobs related to the oil industry, uh, it, it's a benefit. Now, look, at lower oil prices should be a real positive for the economy. And even though the U.S. has become a, a bigger producer, and so there's a downside there, Still, the benefits of lower oil prices should spread throughout the economy. The problem is that there's been a lot of credit extended to these oil companies and oil exploration companies, and then there were bets, side bets, derivatives bets, placed on that credit that was extended, and now a lot of it's going to go bad. So they're trying to prop up the oil market as much as they can. That's why we've seen oil and uh, and stocks trading nearly in lockstep for the past three months at least. Sinclair, in your uh, blog, Eat the Bankers, you had a little discussion this week, which I thought was really interesting, about discussing, uh, I guess, the um, basics of the uh, economy, econo economics 101 a little bit. And we talk, You talked about inflation. Talk a little yeah. bit about that. 
Well, I'm trying to do a little bit more in the way of basic economics. I think some folks really need some help with the basics of uh, economics 101, if you will. And I've uh, been trying to cover a few topics. I was talking about inflation in this week's post on basic economics. And uh, I think a lot of folks just don't really get some of the basics of it, but it's essential to how money operates. And uh, hopefully some folks will take a little time to read it or listen to that uh, presentation. It only takes a few minutes. But uh, right now we're just not seeing much in the way of inflation in the U.S. Um, or around the world, for that matter. We're seeing negative rates from Bank of Japan, uh, Sweden, uh, the Eurozone, Germany, uh, Switzerland, Denmark. Uh, I can't see how that's a real positive for the economies moving forward. I think uh, I think deflation is a bigger problem than inflation, and we're smack in at the old idea of pushing on a string to to get out of deflation. That's uh, that's going to be a tough one, and it's proving to be a tough one for central banks around the world. And here we have the Fed uh, threatening to raise rates this year, though they stalled and probably won't do anything next week. It's just a non sequitur considering what's going on in the world. Why are we fighting the rest of the world? It's crazy. And, and we're nowhere near the uh, target for inflation from the Fed either. They've, they've set a target of 2%. We're still well below that. We're, we're you know We're closer to 1.4% than we are to 2%. I think there's a lot of political pressure, Wall Street, the banks, because you and I know the banks make more money. If rates go up, the spread is better for them. So I think the pressure politically or whatever to get the rates up is there, but it just doesn't make a lot of sense considering what's going on in the world. So yeah, and thank you again. The Fed. Mm, right, right. Yeah. So, Claire, thank you for joining us. And Claire No, editor, publisher of EatTheBankers.com, financial commentator, KFNN 1510 Phoenix. Always a pleasure having you on the show. We'll talk to you next week. Always a pleasure. Thank you, Mark. Bye-bye. Something may be coming out of Japan, so we'll see. It's also the Ides of March. Uh, cyclically, there are many times uh, there's change points in the March period, and since we've been rallying into March, uh, perhaps we could be hitting a bit of a top here. So caveat emptor, as I say in my newsletter. Uh, we have a couple good uh, guests for, uh, scheduled still for the show today. Uh, my good friend Eric Haddock will be up with us in just a few moments, so stay tuned. And Letitia Wright will join us on segment four. Thank you for listening to Wall Street Raw. Go to WallStreetRawRadio.com for more information on Mark's newsletters and products. Stay tuned. Mark will be right back. High-performance investors and traders use superior financial tools to achieve superior returns. You have that tool with Mark Leibovitz, nationally renowned top market timer, legendary television Wall Street Week elf, and nightly business report market monitor, who shares with you his unique market tools and commentary at WallStreetRaw.com. At WallStreetRaw.com, Mark provides you with his latest ideas on how to help build and protect your wealth, help you avoid the next big market crash, and also stay healthy to enjoy your wealth. Mark has a special free gift for listeners of the Wall Street Raw radio show. Go to WallStreetRaw.com and sign up for his free weekly Vice News Raw report. While there, go ahead and sign up for his free Gold News Raw report. You will receive both weekly, and both are totally free. No credit card information is required. Sign up today for your free Vice News Raw and Gold News Raw reports at WallStreetRaw.com. That's WallStreetRaw.com. 
Is negative content or comments on the web affecting your personal or professional reputation? Unfavorable comments, embarrassing pictures, videos, legal documents, and negative articles can ruin your personal life, your career, or your business. It happens a lot, and it's just not fair. But what can you do? ReputationDefender.com can help protect your good name. Get a free consultation now. Call 800-831-0771. That's 800-831-0771. Call right now for a free expert reputation analysis. It's easy to squash the unfair attacks with our patented system, and the analysis is absolutely free. Make the best things about you jump out in searches. Protect your personal and professional reputation, your business, and your income. Get your free reputation analysis from ReputationDefender.com right now. Call 800-831-0771. 800-831-0771. That's 800-831-0771. Or visit ReputationDefender.com today. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. It's no secret that pathogens such as bacteria, viruses, moles, and fungus can inflict severe damage in the human body. Fortunately, a new and vastly improved silver solution has been developed. Supernatural Silver is a revolutionary, broad-spectrum, antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal solution that can be used inside the body as well as on the skin. Supernatural Silver is unique and superior to colloidal and ionic silvers using a patented technology that is highly effective against colds, flus, infections, food poisoning, and yeast, in addition to many other pathogens. Supernatural Silver is scientifically supported, extremely safe, and is the number one choice of thousands of people for immune system support. Find out how Supernatural Silver could change your life. Go to SupernaturalSilver.com and use the promo code HEALTHY for 20% off. That's SupernaturalSilver.com. And like us on Facebook. Owe $10,000 or more to the IRS? Get on board with the tax admiral. Don't pick on the IRS alone. I'll cut penalties and reduce your overall tax bill. Sometimes I can even get it zeroed out completely. We're an A-rated company helping people clean up their mess with the IRS. If you owe $10,000 or more, then call the tax admiral. Call 800-287-7180. Again, that's 800-287-7180. 800-287-7180. Welcome back to Wall Street Raw. Want to know more about Wall Street Raw and the Leibovitz VR newsletters? Go to WallStreetRawRadio.com. It's a great pleasure to invite a very special guest and old friend for many years, uh, Eric Haddock, who is the author of the Inside Track newsletter. Um, the subtitle of that newsletter, which uh, impressed me when I first saw it years and years ago, is, quote, let us run with patience the race that is set before us from Hebrews 12.1. Uh, Eric was first introduced to the commodity markets way back in 1979-80. He's a trader and analyst. He uses all series of technical uh, tools from Fibonacci to uh, Elliott Wave, and uh, he's been uh, really hot on the markets here in recent years, and uh, I love reading his letter. It's great inspiration because he employs many quote-unquote big picture cycles and uh, cyclic analysis is a key part to making money in the market including the short-term technical work so again eric thank you for joining us on this saturday morning 
Oh, great to be here, Mark. Thanks for having me. So much has been going on, Eric, and uh, you know we've had a um, big washout in the market that culminated in February, and we've had what many thought, uh, including myself, is a dead cat bounce, but as it keeps going higher and higher, we start scratching our head and say, was this uh, something more significant? I know back in August when we had that climactic sell-off, it appeared at that time that something was wrong with the markets, but uh, the big boys are able to get the market all the way back up again, so here we are. Uh, what's, uh, what's going on? Well, I keep uh, comparing it to and thinking it's a bit analogous to the uh, decline in 2000 through 2002. And even while I was anticipating a peaking formation back in late 2014, early 2015, I was warning the same thing, that I thought from a general standpoint, and I really need to emphasize that part, but that it would look much like uh, the majority of indices did in 2000 through uh, really mid-2001, uh, other than the NASDAQ, which was just plummeting from the uh, bursting of the dot-com bubble. But if you look at charts of like the Dow Industrials, the S&P, you see very similar to what we've seen the last uh, 8, 10 months, and that is you get a sharp one- or two-month sell-off, looks like it's breaking key support. Everyone thinks that that's where it should really accelerate down, and immediately it turns on a dime. Mm -hmm. Heads back up, builds a little bit of upward momentum, and each time it would approach the previous highs but not quite reach them. And so just as the bulls were getting ready to jump back on the bandwagon, the market would peak and start to roll over, and then before you knew it, it was back into one of those one- to two-month sharp sell-offs kept doing that until, really, the events of 9-11. That was kind of the second uh, trigger or the second um, major shoe dropping uh, from a fundamental standpoint. And then the market uh, gave more of a convincing downtrend into late 2002. But I think that we're seeing something similar, and, and I expect it to continue, too, that I – thought that we would see a sharp drop into late January or early February. That was when uh, my first cycle bottom for the year was. And uh, the next key cycle low to me is in June, and I think we'll be turning down in the next few weeks and starting to uh, see another sell-off that, that culminates in, in June of this year. So have we started a bear market, do you feel? Uh, I do, but, you know, it comes down to the exact uh, definition of that. Semantics sometimes plays a, a role there, whether it's a, you know, uh, confirmed 20% drop in, in a lot of indices or not. Uh, but I do think that we are in uh, in a evolving downtrend and that it will take us to new lows before it sees new highs and that it will continue into the later part of this year. And depending on some key levels and signals, then it could extend this into 2017. You know, when you look at the Dow Transport, you and I know, I mean, that, that puppy uh, topped out was in November 2014, and we've been in a bear market for a year and a half. And for, for many, including myself, it's a leading indicator. So we're nowhere near highs there. Right, and that uh, it was right when it hit the 30% loss threshold in late January that uh, that, that index uh, really signaled a, an initial bottom and turned a key intermediate indicator that I watch, turned that up in February. Uh, but there, too, it, it's getting uh, into overbought territory. I think this week or next we could see things start to peak back out and then uh, in the – uh, later part of March or early part of April, start to see some new sell signals emerge. You know, the precious metals, commodities, uh, all had a bit of a bottom here, and that's getting everybody excited. Of course, I'm more on the bull side with the gold, but I, I, I'm almost on a perma gold uh, bull category, so you can't talk to me too often about that. But it sure appears like we've turned, and we talked about this in our last interview. So how do you feel about oil and the gold here? I definitely think that uh, gold has signaled a, a pretty major bottom, uh, but in the same token, I was expecting a an initial sharp rally into late February, 
We've seen that it's reached some upside objectives, so I think we're going to see some consolidation. And in my March uh, Inside Track newsletter, I was uh, identifying this very key weekly cycle that comes into play in the first half of April that I think is when we could see a secondary low. And I would expect after that for things to really get going uh, for gold and silver and also for oil. Eric, uh, you know, we like to spend many, many hours with you, but we only have a few seconds left. How do our listeners uh, reach you and uh, subscribe to the Inside Track newsletter? And they can go to either of our primary websites, the InsideTrack.com, which is spelled with the extra I in the middle, I-N-S-I-I-D-E-T-R-A-C-K.com, or 40YearCycle.com. That's the number of 40 yearcycle.com, and they can contact us through that. They can also get a lot of samples, read some uh, previous reports, and get a better uh, idea of uh, how we approach the markets. Eric, it's always a pleasure. We'll have you back in a few weeks. Uh, short but sweet, that's the key. Eric Haddock from the Inside Track newsletter. Great analysis, great friend. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Mark. Thank you again, Eric. And uh, as you know, we top off um, segment three each week with the uh, three segments from my favorite movie, The Ten Commandments. So having Eric on this segment is very timely with the let us run with patience, the race to the set before us quote at the top of his uh, newsletter from Hebrews 12.1. Uh, no religious connotation there other than I guess we're both, uh, you know, more on the religious side. But he does long-term cycle work and great technical work, and it overlaps a lot of stuff that I'm doing. And Eric's been doing this, it's got to be 35 years, so he certainly knows what he's doing there. Meanwhile, uh, we have uh, another special guest coming up on segment four, Letitia Wright, talking uh, a little bit about uh, crowdfunding and so forth. So it should be an interesting interview. I want you all to stay tuned. You're listening to Wall Street Raw, and uh, Mark Leibovich, your host. So we uh, we have a break coming up here in just uh, a few seconds, so I closed a little bit a bit early. But again, Letitia Wright will be joining us here in about a minute or so. So great uh, new guest for us here on Wall Street Raw. So again, stay tuned. Thank you. You're listening to Wall Street Raw with Mark Leibovitz. Go to WallStreetRawRadio.com for information on Mark's newsletters and products. Stay tuned. Mark will be right back. High-performance investors and traders use superior financial tools to achieve superior returns. You have that tool with Mark Leibovitz, nationally renowned top market timer, legendary television Wall Street Week elf, and nightly business report market monitor, who shares with you his unique market tools and commentary at WallStreetRaw.com. Here, Mark provides you with his latest ideas on how to help build and protect your wealth, help you avoid the next big market tsunami, and also stay healthy to enjoy your wealth. Mark has a special free gift for listeners of his Wall Street Raw radio show. Go to WallStreetRaw.com and sign up for his free Vice News Raw report. You will receive it weekly, and it is totally free. No credit card information is required, and no one will call. Sign up today for your free Vice News Raw report at WallStreetRaw.com. That's WallStreetRaw.com for your free weekly report from Mark Leibovitz and WallStreetRaw.com. Extend your life with Extendovite, a seven-herb combination made from garlic, cayenne, bilberry, hawthorn, ginkgo biloba, valerian, and milk thistle. Each herb was chosen for their abilities to help improve irregular heartbeats, chest pain, lower cholesterol, as well as normalize blood pressure and clean and strengthen arteries, plus much, much more. Doctors have taken people off of some or all of their pills just because they believe their patients got better while taking Extendivite. Get the dependability of Extendivite. Just see how you feel in six months. A two-month supply of either capsules or liquid is only $69.95 plus shipping and handling. 
Call 1-877-928-8822. That's 1-877-928-8822. Or visit heartdrop.com. Extend your life with Extend Overnight. My dad was 59 when he collapsed from a heart attack late last year. Just this past August was when we spread his ashes on the St. Croix River. I loved my dad, but boy was he stubborn. He hadn't been to the doctor in over 25 years. His excuse? He simply couldn't afford it. He wasn't a rich man by any means. At less than $107 per month, libertyoncall.org would have been the perfect alternative for my father. Don't wait. Go to libertyoncall.org right now for not just your sake, but for the sake of your loved ones. Again, that's libertyoncall.org. This is a healthcare alert from the Pain Relief Hotline. If you, a family member, or a loved one suffers from knee, back, shoulder, or ankle pain and have Medicare as your primary insurance, we've got great news. You don't have to suffer any longer. You can immediately qualify for a pain relieving brace at little or no cost to you by calling our 24 7 pain relief hotline at 866 389 0620. Delivery is free and all paperwork is handled for you. If you are on Medicare and have knee, back, shoulder, or ankle pain, don't wait. You can qualify to immediately receive a pain relieving brace at little or no cost by calling our 24 7 pain hotline now at 866 389 0620. Our representatives are standing by 24 7 to take your call and rush you your pain relieving brace at little or no cost to you. Shipping is free and all paperwork is handled for you. Just call 866 389 0620. That's 866 389 0620. Again, 866 389 0620. Attention citizens, this man has received national attention for accurately predicting every major financial trend, including the market crash of 2008. His name is Harry Dent, and in his newly released book, he is making even bigger and bolder predictions that have the potential to devastate the world economy and your personal wealth. You can get a free copy of Harry Dent's bestseller, The Demographic Cliff, containing never-before-published information by simply visiting www.harrydentresearch.com. Again, that's www.harrydentresearch.com. Responsibility begins and ends with our partners and our shareholders, and that's it. There is no freedom without the law. Get it? Got it? Good. Welcome back to Wall Street Law and the final segment with Mark Leibovich. Now, here's the elf himself. It's my pleasure inviting a very special guest, Dr. Letitia Wright, to Wall Street Raw this Saturday morning. Uh, Letitia is uh, one of the nation's leading crowdfunding strategists. Uh, she teaches workshops for Los Angeles Small Business Administration, Las, uh, Las Vegas, Nevada Small Business Administrations, and uh, the California SBDCs. So you have to tell me what SBDCs are uh, in a moment. Mm-hmm. Formally, formally and uh, guest blogger for crowdfunding sites. She's helped raise business owners, raise over a half a million dollars, and uh, hosts her own TV show in Los Angeles called The Right Place. Thank you for joining us, Leticia. Thank you for having me, and thank you for having me. So SBDC stands for um, the Small Business Development Centers, and in California we have several of them up and down the state, and uh, they work as an educational center as well as a source of uh, funds for people, helping them, uh, you know, get their businesses together and grow. And so I also teach uh, in that system. They kind of have their own set of rules and that they're not part of the SBA, but they're very helpful to the community. And so I've been asked to teach from uh, anywhere from L.A. all the way up to Redding, California. So it's been fun. Oh, yes, you get to travel throughout the state. That's great. In fact, I was just in Reading myself on a business trip, a beautiful area. Beautiful, so, yes. Crowdfunding is really a confusing topic with so many new rules and regulations. Um, can you give us a little more insight about crowdfunding for those who may not know much about it? Absolutely. It is crowdfund. It is confusing, and one of the reasons is that there are six kinds of crowdfunding, and when people talk about it, they just say crowdfunding. They're not saying what they're talking about. So let me just run through the six. There is the reward-based crowdfunding like Kickstarter and Indiegogo. Most of that is just really a pre-purchase. Then there is crowd 
uh, what we call crowd equity, that is actually investment. The person doing it can raise up to a million dollars, and they are it, everybody's an investor. You are selling shares of the company. $36 billion changed hands last year, and a lot of it was real estate and crowd equity. There are crowdfunded loans where you can get people to loan you money. You will set the interest rate and the terms. They get the investment. They get the return on investment. So if you've got a 1000 or $10,000 in the bank and you don't want to get into the stock market, you could invest it in a loan and get paid back, or as a business owner, you can get a loan. There's crowdfunding for charity that has certain strategy rules. I won't say that there are a lot of legal rules, but you're going to do it a little differently than you would do the other um, types of crowdfunding. <clears throat> and then there's a new one called crowd granting. Crowd granting is happening right now in Detroit. It is a partnership with a company and the government. And so what they are doing is the community will say they need a project, they want to clean up the parks, it'll cost $10,000. Or if the community puts up five, the government would grant the rest of the money, the other five, and that is how they are getting things done. That program is working very well in Detroit. It's not really available around the country yet. Um, it's working really well in Detroit, and that company is also focused on Flint right now to help them with the water situation. And it with crowd granting, as it spreads across the country, it's more like, I think, what crowdfunding was really meant to be in terms of helping the environment, changing the community, and helping our communities. So that's part of the confusion is that uh, some people are looking at crowd equity, and then they're, they're trying to do a, you know something that's really crowd charity, and there's a lot of confusion around it. If somebody wanted to pursue crowdfunding on any of these levels, would they contact you directly, and you could, could you guide them? Absolutely. I work with clients, and I have an online academy where they can learn. But I'd like to give everybody a free resource guide it's just to get you started and get you a basic understanding. They can text the word uh, MARK to 909-906-9797, 909-906-9797. I've got a juicy free resource guide that will clear up about crowdfunding. It will give them a minute to read about it, and all of my contact information is inside there. So just go ahead and text the word MARK to 909-906-9797, and that will get you started on the path to crowdfunding. What's so amazing about crowdfunding, it's really an alternate to Wall Street and the stock market, which uh, you know, we talk about on the show, obviously, but I also talk about how there are other places and means of participating in companies versus just investing in stocks. And this whole crowdfunding uh, evolution has been unbelievable, for particularly the small companies, and I'm so excited about it. I'm really happy to have you on to talk a little bit about it. So we really have a big future ahead of us with the small investor now being able to get involved with literally small amounts of money taking very little risk. Absolutely, and they can invest in companies that they love and support, and now you have a way to work with people that, uh, you know, before they would say, hey, I'm looking for a, a big investor, and you're thinking, well, I only have $10,000. I'm not a big investor. Now you can work with those people. So it's also about funding the businesses that you love and seeing the products and services you want, you know, grow. <laughs> If, if our listeners want to contact you directly, how would they do that? Sure. They can call the office at 909-235-9744. Again, it's 909-235-9744. Uh, we can talk about their project and what they want to do, and then we can give them some recommendations from there. Uh, it may be to work with me. It may not be to work with me. But uh, if you'd like to just clear up and have some, some questions answered one-on-one -on -one, and you don't want to share anything publicly, go ahead and give me a call at 909-235-9744. Well, Tisha, it was really a pleasure having you. I like to be on with you for a half hour, but we only have a short segment. Thank you so much. Talking to Letitia Wright, who is the uh, one of America's leading crowdfunding specialists and strategists out in Los Angeles with her own TV show, The Right Place. If you're in L.A., certainly tune in. I hear it's on Tuesday nights at 6 p.m. Thank you, Letitia, for joining us. We hope to have you back real soon. Thank you, Mark. I hope to see you really soon. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye.
Thank you again, uh, Leticia, for joining us. And we, uh, we've been looking forward to having her on for a while. This is such an important area in the markets in terms of the ability of the small investor to get in. We're seeing this a lot, by the way, in the cannabis uh, group. I've attended a couple events uh, where a lot of investors are meeting some small companies and a new growing uh, medical marijuana and other group, too. So, you know, they're seeing a lot of this type of investment, and it's really a great opportunity for those involved, and it also keeps the big boys wall street sort of out of the game at least for now which is always a good sign in my opinion many of the uh, big players take advantage of uh, the companies and i think the smaller investors got a better opportunity meanwhile we have a short time here on our show on this uh, saturday morning uh, basically my expectations are the dow and s&p are going to be peaking here we're going to go to new lows for the cycle whether it's three months, three weeks, three days, six months, we'll find out. We'll look for our short-term technical numbers to confirm that. Uh, Europe's uh, banks are on the ropes. I think a Lehman-type event is very close. I think oil has reached a near-term target in the high 30s and still does not have uh, a higher low, so the next decline will test or plunge below the $26 barrel. I believe there's a good shot that will happen. Uh, winter is nearly over, and refiners will be soon shutting down for maintenance and will not be buying as much oil oil for the months making a large a larger build and storage which is limited so uh got to be uh, careful out there in terms of getting too excited about the market we do have the fed meeting this week could possibly be coincident with a uh, short-term top in the market as i mentioned a moment ago the ides of march and also some strategic times that the market turns in the march period whether it's selling off into uh mid-march or rallying got to be careful here we have political considerations civil unrest considerations recession around the the world, negative interest rates, so a lot of reasons to be very careful. My old, uh, my old good friend uh, from uh, Financial News Network, uh, Ed Hart, always used to uh, close his show on the old Financial Net- News Network. This before CBNBC took them over many, many years ago, and uh, I always like to close uh, the show with you know a quote from him that we will know in the fullness of time. But we still have a minute or two here before the end of the program. But you know, basically, uh, I've been writing about the risk of uh, significant civil disobedience in the country. We saw this on Friday evening in uh, Chicago. I mentioned earlier, you know, we've seen a rally in the gun shares and so forth. So we've got to be really careful out there. And again, we will know in the fullness of time. This is Mark Leibovitt at Wall Street Raw. Thanks for tuning in. We'll speak to you next week. Thank you for listening to Wall Street Raw with nationally recognized market timer and previous Wall Street Week out, Mark Leibovitz. If you missed any of today's show or to get in touch with Mark, please go to WallStreetRawRadio.com. Any stocks or investment discussed on Wall Street Raw are not in any way a recommendation or solicitation to buy, sell, or hold. We first recommend you seek out a licensed financial professional for advice. Go to WallStreetRawRadio.com for more information on Mark. Mark's newsletters and products. High-performance investors and traders use superior financial tools to achieve superior returns. You have that tool with Mark Leibovit, nationally renowned top market timer, legendary television Wall Street Week elf, and nightly business report market monitor, who shares with you his unique market tools and commentary at WallStreetRaw.com. At WallStreetRaw.com, Mark provides you with his latest ideas on how to help build and protect your wealth, help you avoid the next big market crash, and also stay healthy to enjoy your wealth. Mark has a special free gift for listeners of the Wall Street Raw radio show. Go to WallStreetRaw.com and sign up for his free weekly Vice News Raw report. While there, go ahead and sign up for his free Gold News Raw report. You will receive both weekly, and both are totally free. No credit card information is required. Sign up today for your free Vice News Raw and Gold News Raw reports at WallStreetRaw.com. That's WallStreetRaw.com. Are you worried about your mom or dad living alone in their house? Hi, I'm Joan London. Listen, I know how difficult it is to find senior care for someone you love. That's why I recommend a free service called A Place for Mom. They are the nation's largest senior living referral service. Call A Place for Mom today. To receive free information on senior living communities in your area, call A Place for Mom at 1-800-704-6182. 
a place where mom offers free one-on-one advice from local advisors and a personalized list of senior living communities you can visit. If you have questions about senior care for your mom or dad, there's a place for answers, a place for mom. Call a place for mom in the next 10 minutes to get your free ebook on financing senior care as well as free information on senior living communities in your area. Call 1-800-704-6182. That's 1-800-704-6182.